Morning guys, Mike from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Here today to talk about a very common issue on the Chevy line, of uh, the 1.4 liter engines, uh, in particular the coolant issues that these vehicles have. Um, today we have a 2012, 2014 Chevy Cruze um, with a 1.4 liter turbo engine, uh, has had some chronic coolant issues. Uh, we've replaced the thermostat in the past and now we have other issues in regards to the hoses that connect the cooling system. Um, with us we have our man Drew who's going to explain a little Hi bit guys. more. So as Mike said we got here uh, 2014 Chevy Cruze. Um, issues we have are coolant leaks. Um, we've already done the thermostat housing in the past. We're replacing this housing here as well. It's leaking at the base of the gasket where it bolts to the head. And as well, um, the way some hoses react with the deck school, they'll start to weep within the hose and they'll seep through the hoses. So it's not just at the clamp connection, it'll actually weep into the hoses. And that's why we're changing the hoses on these as well. Um, this turbo on this vehicle here, uh, compact engine, whole compact package in this. Um, has a liquid cooled turbo as well. So we are replacing the uh, the coolant hoses on the turbo as well. We have the turbo off the vehicle here with the manifold. This is the turbo here. This is one of the cooler lines that we are changing on it. It's not accessible while the turbo is in place, regardless of what you try to take out of the way. This is the return line to the block. We're gonna be installing that as well. Another common issue on these, Turbos of heat build up. Um, as you see, slight cracking here. Sometimes these will break apart and you start getting boost issues, but as well, impellers break off here. These are oil fed. And this is the drain here. Um, the importance of doing oil changes if this bearing assembly within the turbo is not properly lubricated, um, it'll overheat, cause stress on the shaft and the bearing and they'll eventually break off. Now all of the parts that we've gotten for the vehicle are from General Motors original equipment, uh, AC Delco, uh, because there are no aftermarket parts yet for this. Uh, our suppliers such as Dorman do not, uh, have not come up with anything yet so we are handcuffed to the dealer as they say to purchase these parts as genuine uh, AC Delco GM. Um, the parts aren't the expense, the expense is the labor to do the work because as Drew said there are no shortcuts to do this job. Uh, the turbo has to come off in order to get to those main lines um, which is an issue. So if you have one of these 1.4 liter engines by all means we love working on them don't we Drew? Yes we love working we on them. We love them. So by all means book your appointment Urban Auto. 497 Maple Grove Drive. Please hit like and subscribe at the bottom for our videos, uh, information videos such as this. We like to keep them light and fun and informational. Have a great day, guys.